Professor Mark Higdon. Uh, this video is for FM341 and it's how to make a great plaid using Adobe Photoshop. So um, on Blackboard I've uploaded a file which you can work with to start with FM341 underscore one plaid template and you'll see that I've already set this up with a second layer which is what we're going to use to create the plaid. And we're going to do a three color plaid um, so to create the first part of the plaid, I'm going to use this rectangle marquee tool, which we've worked with before. It's the M key on your keypad. And um, I'm going to left click and drag and make myself a vertical box. Then I'm going to use the color picker in the foreground and pick myself a color. And I'm going to do it as a three color plaid. So I have my first color. Uh, to fill this, I'm going to go to Edit, Fill, and make sure you're selecting the foreground color, because that's where the swatch is, and click OK. Then I'm going to make a copy of this to create the second stripe of the three color plaid. So I'll come to the Move tool at the top, hold down the Option key, left click and drag, and make a copy but have it so that it overlaps the first stripe. Don't leave a space in between. And I'm going to pick my second color, which will fill in this area with the marquee tool. So again, I'll double click on the color picker, select myself another color. I'll do a tonal blue stripe. Come up to the top and do edit fill. Again, working with the foreground color, click OK. And then I'm going to make myself a third stripe. So I'll hold down the Option key on your keypad, left click and drag, and make myself the third stripe. Then um, I'm going to pick myself a third color. So I'll pick a very light gray and do Edit Fill. and click OK. So now I have a three color stripe. Okay, And I'm going to deselect that. Deselect it is to select, deselect, or the shortcut is Apple or um, Control D. Then to move ahead, come to the marquee tool again. And this time inside the three stripes, I'm going to left click and drag and make myself a horizontal box. And I'm going to save this stripe, which is a cool feature in Photoshop. So I'll come to Edit at the top, come down to Define Pattern, and I'm going to call this my Vertical Stripe, and click OK. Now I'm going to create the horizontal stripe portion of the plaid, so I can turn this I come to Edit, come down to Transform, come all the way down to Rotate 90 degrees. I'm going to do Clockwise, and you'll see it turns it automatically for you. And again, I will save this, so I'll come to Edit, Define Pattern, and I'll save this as the Horizontal Stripe. And I'll deselect this, which is Apple D or Control D, or at the top is Select, Deselect. Then I'm going to ask that you open up the second template that I gave you for the plaid, which actually has um, three layers. And I'm going to come to the plaid one layer, and I'm going to do Select All. Control or Apple A, and that will select the entire space. I'll go to Edit Fill. This time, instead of the foreground color, I'm going to pull down the menu and come to Pattern. And then it will open up an additional window. Next to Custom Pattern, left click on the pull down menu, and you should have the stripes here. I've done this a couple of times, so I'm going to 
work with my first vertical stripe and click OK. And so you see I have a stripe here. If you're looking to create a stripe, this would be one way you could just save this and then bring it into Illustrator and fill like we've done in prior lessons. In this case, I want to create an actual plaid. So leaving the selection tool active, now come up to the plaid to layer. Again, do edit fill. Still with pattern, now select the other stripe. So this is my horizontal stripe. Click OK. And so now that has put the horizontal stripe on this layer. Then if I cut back the opacity on this layer to 50%, I've created a plaid, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to deselect this. And I can now do a file Save As. And I can save this now not as template, but as my plaid. And I'll add in the word blue, since that seems to be the majority of the color. I can then bring this into a silhouette file in Illustrator and drag it into my swatches and actually fill it into the garment. So if you have any questions, uh, don't ever hesitate to uh, email me, send me attachment of your file. Um, thank you very much for watching.